Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Throughout this video, I will show you the basics of using remote execution and Ansible with the Foreman project. First, we will take a look at the infrastructure needed for the remote execution feature to work. We need a smart proxy with remote execution feature, which Foreman will use to send the remote commands. You can see the installation of the smart proxy using the Foreman installer tool. We will install the following plugins on the smart proxy. Dyneflow, Remote Execution SSH, and Ansible. Once the proxy is successfully installed, we can register it in our Foreman install. can choose a smart proxy to use for every subnet managed by Foreman. If we don't assign any proxy to the subnet, Foreman tries a global one. So it's not necessary to assign the proxy, but it gives you more control. Last thing we need for everything to work is to add the SSH key, the authorized key on the managed host to the user that we will used to run the remote command. By default, it is a root, but we can configure that in plugin settings. To get the smart proxy public key, head to the smart proxy URL slash ssh slash pub key. Or you can just reprovision the host. As foreman will add the necessary key automatically for every new newly provisioned host. Now our infrastructure is ready and we can start leveraging the Foreman execution feature. The simplest use for remote execution is running simple command. We do that from host detail page by clicking on schedule remote job button. It takes us to the job invocation page where category and template are preselected as we need it to be and the target query is set to our host. So everything we need to do is to type in the command we want to run and confirm it. We will see the page with the progress of the job. We can navigate to an output of each host, in our case it's just one host, by selecting the set host, we can see the output of the run. For more complex executions, we don't want to type all the commands in the text area, and we usually want to run the same or similar execution multiple times. For this, we have job templates. There are default templates shipped with Foreman, sort into categories, which provide common functionalities that most users can find useful. Feel free to browse these templates and discover what they can do for you. For your custom runs, you will need to create your own template. This can be done in job templates under the host menu by clicking on new job template. As an example, you will create a template for installing Postgres in a Docker image on CentOS host. We will enter all necessary commands into the template editor. The templates allow us to have user input that Foreman will ask users to fill in once the template is executed. We use an ERB macro input with the name of the input, and then we define this input on the input tab. Running the template can be done directly from the job template list. We can search for our template through the search bar and run it by clicking the run button. First, we need to enter the target host by search query. The simplest query is just matching a single host by its name, but we can search by any host parameter like operating system or even custom user parameters. Next, we fill in all the required inputs that we defined in our 
YouTube template. In our case, the Postgres password. Confirmation of this form will start the job on target host. You can take a look at the output of our job on the single host, or just let the job run and continue with other work. Now, let's take a look at Ansible. Given formats focus area is configuration management, the most common use case for Ansible in Foreman is assigning roles to a host and just applying these roles. A roles application can even be configured to run periodically. First, we need to make sure that our remote execution proxy has the necessary roles available. We want to install Postgres in Docker image again, but this time using Ansible. We will use a role provided on Ansible Galaxy and install this role onto our smart proxy. We can do that by a job that is shipped by default in format. To do so, we will head to the details page of host for our smart proxy and run a remote job on it. The job we want is in the category Ansible Galaxy and the template is called Ansible Roles Installed from Galaxy. In the Ansible Roles list, we enter the name of the role that we want to install. We can even install multiple roles at once. By confirming, the role gets installed on our smart proxy. This is an example, and you can install roles on your smart proxy by other methods. Once we have the role on our smart proxy, we need to import it into Forman. Forman only keeps track of the role names and its variables. We can import a list of roles from the proxy to foreman in the Ansible roles list. If we also want to change values for role variables, we can head to Ansible variables and also import those. Now we can change default of these variables or use advanced measure and define variable values depending on host attributes, like operating system, or even custom user parameters. Once we have our roles defined, we can edit our hosts and assign these roles to them. When we have the roles assigned, we can apply them by selecting a role run Ansible roles in the schedule remote job submenu. This will take us to the job progress on this Ansible run. We successfully applied our roles to host. Ansible roles cover a lot of common use cases, but sometimes we want something more complex. Again, we can leverage job templates for that. Just this time, our templates define an Ansible playbook, not a shell script. You can take a look at the job template that is used to apply roles on the host, as an example. Playbook template is evaluated in a single host context, so we use host all for every Ansible playbook template. To tell foreman that this is Ansible template and not script template, Ansible template needs to define provider type, which will ensure the template will be treated Ansible playbook. All other features are the same with basic job templates. That's all. I hope it helped you and you've got some value out of it.